Hey everybody, we are now live again with Jesus and I am excited to talk to Jesus because of the transition that he made in his business from the gym ownership when COVID hit. And I think this is going to be the really, really impactful one for you guys who are um, maybe a little bit worried about the state of your fitness business right now and looking towards the future. You've kind of been exposed a little bit and, and you're in person training whether you own a gym or not. You, you realize how, I don't know, brittle, brittle um, the business model yeah. is. And, you know, Jesus owns Resilient Fitness in, in Arizona. He's got two kids, super busy guy, kind of does everything, one of these people. And he told me some of his numbers beforehand. Um, in February, before COVID hit, his gym did 7,000. Uh, he didn't have a lot of online training stuff going at that time. And, uh, and he enrolled in OTA2 around that time, basically the pandemic hit, like just before the pandemic hit, enrolled in OTA2. And in March, did 10,000 purely online. In April, 10,000 purely online. In May, 11,000. And the, and the most interesting thing, well, there's two things to take from that. One is not only did he not lose any steam in his fitness business, Right. He was able to actually increase his revenue, increase his bottom line, keep the lights on, keep supporting his family because he had the online stuff. And, and now that they're starting to think about opening back up, he's actually incorporating a lot of what he learned in OTA2 and with online training back into his gym. And it's going to become way, way, way stronger. And so I'm excited to learn about what all those things are. Thanks for being here, man. Yeah, my pleasure. Ha happy to be a part of this for sure. So, so tell me, tell me what was going on in February. Let's let's start there. Paint a picture right before uh, uh, the world ended. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, uh, uh, February was like month seven for us of being of opening the studio. When I say yes, it's me and my wife. I do about 98 percent of the work. But um, yeah, we were month seven. You know, I was maxed out with sessions. I was maxed out in, in the groups. You know, I didn't want to add any more clients, and I was just kind of like. You know, I think online thing could it could be really be the next step for us in, in scaling this. And uh, you know, I was lucky to be part of um, OTA two, and uh, we were already getting that going. And and right when let's see, the state shut down gyms March thirteenth, which is right about when we were in the course where we we're going to start selling programs, which was yep. just perfect timing. You know, there for me because shutting down the gym. I think I, I didn't sleep that night, March 13th and 14th. I was like, what the hell am I going to do? So um, just, you know, lost one night of sleep and the next day I was just like, okay, let's follow the program and see what happens. And, you know, it, it blew up <laughs> and it worked out. When preparation meets opportunity, right? Yeah. I mean, that's that's the, the, the nuttiest thing. So I think a lot of people listening, um, probably a lot of people listening now and into the future, you know, when I, when I said what happened to you where, you know, you had you had 7K gym revenue that basically went to zero and then you replaced it the next month with 10K online revenue are kind of just yeah. like, hmm? like they kind of they kind of leaned in wanting to know how the heck you did that. So can you talk about can you talk about some of those steps? Like what did you actually do? How did you contact your people? What did you offer them? So immediately, you know, the next day after everything was closed, I messaged everybody that we were moving online and there was going to be programming available with an online community and continued support and you know i, I use software like true coach and zoom to provide you know a, a different aspects of the coaching process and everybody was on board we lost maybe five members and that was due to like pandemic stuff like they lost their jobs or they just couldn't continue and, right. and trying my best to like help them out but you know off of everybody else it was either programming, doing stuff that they had at home, or they went out and fortunate to find some piece of equipment that I could program for them. <laughs> uh, or we started run, running like Zoom workouts out of our garage, my, my wife, my kids and I, and uh, people would jump on and, 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 and follow along. So, um, you know, from there, following OTA2 model, we started pushing, uh, you know, small challenges or uh, group kickoffs. And little by little, people were trickling in and, and being a part of it. And um, that's just been the continued, you know, method moving forward, um, which has been what's. Been so talk to me about that. Talk to me about how that's structured. Well, now when uh, on like a weekly basis, we're either promoting a free group online. Uh, we're promoting some type of uh, program uh, that launches. And that for me, I do like a 10 pounds in eight weeks one. 
And um, okay. for now, that's com completely online because the state's leading, you know, the, the country in COVID cases. So people don't want to be in their gyms. So we just set it up so that whatever they have at home, they can use. I have a local retailer that has some kettlebells that I send people over to, and, and they and they if they're mm -hmm. in town, that they get a hold of him. Um, and then they join the online community, which is where, you know, we're giving them constant feedback or asking questions or coaching opportunities and that kind of stuff. Um, and so that's that's been the case, you know, for us being able to launch new things on a weekly basis. Yeah. So let's unpack that. You've got a specific problem that you're selling. Yeah. You've got a very specific deliverable. That's a group that's kind of a scalable method that you can pick up and take with you. That's the key, right? Absolutely. And, and sp you were you were a little bit skeptical of moving to more a group model, were you not? Can you can you talk to that a little bit? Yeah, I think you know there was a bit of skepticism shifting to online because I knew how to do the brick and mortar thing. You know, I'd manage other people's gyms and, and and done that for the last ten years, so I I knew that model well. So the skepticism came from my lack of knowledge of not knowing the systems and structures on how to build a, a business online. Yeah, I could write programs and yeah, I could say, hey, you know, buy this thing for, for 49 bucks or 149 bucks or whatever. Right. Right. But how you scale it, how you present it, and then how you go about creating the process of building rapport, um, qualifying a, a, a potential lead or potential member, and then getting deep down into the details of what's driving them and seeing if you're the actual answer for them, that was all built into the courses, the course of OTA2, which uh, for me, that that was the big one that wiped out. If, if there was any skepticism, that was it. It was like, okay, here's the playbook. Like, you know, my background is in sports. Like, give me the playbook. I'm going to follow it. And that's that's been, uh, right. uh, that's what been was, key. What was the breakthrough? If you could, if you could like, learn it back and say, you know, there was one thing that really was just like, yo, I can do this. What would you say that is? Um, ooh, there was a couple of them. Well, I think uh, number one, COVID hit and closed it down. There was, it was, I have to do this. You know, I, 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 like I still had to put foot on the table. <laughs> there was no like, oh, right. I think I'm going to try this. It was like, this is, all, this is all I got. But what was really cool is, you know, one of the things that is taught in OTA too is like, how do my online prices match my face to face because it was mm. a, in the beginning it was substantially different and what happened is right when COVID hit i started with a particular price and in ota2 working with coaches jason and igor and andrew and everybody else you know we're taught to build up and gain momentum so when you package a price you test that out and if it's selling you get comfortable with it you 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 add you know um you scale it up to something that's a little higher and once you get comfortable with that, you can push it a little bit more. So there's these processes that are built in that that I personally, I just wouldn't have thought of. Like, I know how to train and I know how to put progressions and regressions into exercises and stuff. But now looking back, I was right. like, oh, man, it's so simple. This is the same exact thing for business thing. and marketing. Yeah. But, you know, you don't think about that. So th that's that. Yeah, I want to write a, a book one time. I want to write a book on that one time of like the how how fitness and business are the same. Uh, <laughs> it's it's true, man. The progressions and the regressions. So I, I love that you hit on that. Actually, it wasn't something that I had thought to talk about, but what I think is is really important for a lot of people listening here is my gym. These are my prices for online. Right now, yeah, everybody was forced to, to go online. So like, these are my prices, right? Like yeah. you got one, but when you go back, how do mm -hmm. you navigate that? So so what are your, what's your structure gonna be like when you go back? How's that all gonna be set up? So the state did open up um, a couple of weeks, about three, three, almost a month. And um, when I went back there, you know, there, there's a couple of things like one, once you see it, you can't go back, right? Like once you see the scalability and that kind of stuff, you're like I'm more effective and I'm a better coach using this model. So when we came back, I switched everything to packages, which included mm -hmm. nutrition, training, ongoing support, the community and switched over from my previous thought that like everything had to be monthly, build up that monthly revenue to here's a package. It's paid in full for three months a year or payment plans. And that that's that's been a huge, 
game changer because not knowing what's going to happen with the state, not knowing what's going to happen with the gym, most people are opting to be being paid in full options, which that's, that yeah. means cash cash in the bank, which is you know Huge. ideal for this current situation for sure. Huge, um, cash is king. Yeah, always. And what's interesting is that you can actually usually charge more for paid in full just because people hate being on installment. Like, like people hate signing up for memberships, really. And for you as a business owner, like I'll always take cash in hand. I'll always take guaranteed cash yeah. every single time. And it, and even if somebody has a payment plan or something like that, I'll give you an incentive to pay it off. Early. I mean, that's what you want. So I get this idea of like, gym owners always bragging about their monthly recurring revenue and, and how much it is. Like, don't get me wrong, recurring revenue is amazing, but money up front is better, yeah. <laughs> right? So, so if, if, if your MRR is a little bit lower, you know, but but you're taking in much more cash on day one, Yeah, I take that every day. So you, you, you talked about packages, you talked about the, the shift to packages, that's mm -hmm. massive. I want to I want to unpack that. I want to talk about that a lot because so many gym owners were selling sessions, were selling classes. Now you're selling a problem and a solution, and the steps to get yes. there was a package. Tell me yes. what's included. So, I think part of selling that package and getting really down into like figuring out what why people are coming to me specifically. And then being able to say, okay, I'm going to deliver on this. I'm going to partner you, with you for the next 12 weeks, eight weeks or whatever. One, it lit a fire under me. And two, what I've noticed is uh, members are also excited and they're getting better results because they have like a point A to point B mindset. Like, let's get this done. Let's track the nutrition. Right. Let's get the workouts. They're really excited. Jesus is expecting a report every week. And so what I've seen is this idea of, instead of like, oh, I have a gym membership where I'm going to my class. No, they're, they're invested in coaching and mm -hmm. they know that I'm expecting or I have an expectation for them. Therefore, they want to deliver, which has been really exciting because I, I think as a coach, this, you know, I remember growing up in, in, in this field and just people are like, oh, I want to work athletes because they work hard. It's like, uh, no, when you figure out what people want that's when they're going to work hard when they know that you're expecting a particular um uh whatever from them you know a particular goal a particular habit they they put in the effort and that's been really exciting for me it's it's weight loss with strength training and sustainable nutrition that that's that's the big thing that's what i serve my members on that's what they want to do and so we cater everything around that and 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 they love it they dive all in and so your packages are, are the same now for your online and inside your gym? For new members, yes. Uh, some of my old members that, that stayed on, you know, they're on the old, they kind of grandfathered into that. I, you know, I didn't do any, any changes for them, you know. Um, and I do, if they're going to add anything on now, because nutrition mm -hmm. wasn't included back then, then they're moving into the new, new package or similar pricing to it. So I guess that's close to I, it. I guess what I'm asking is that you, you're offering one type of service now. Like you, instead of saying, okay, we've got our online and then we've got our gym, you're basically saying, no, this is how we work. Oh yeah. So it's a hybrid model now. So mm -hmm. this is, if you're in town, then you have access to coaching times that, that are the group classes and, and the semi-private um, cool. or you got your own gym and that's it. There's no price difference. Like this is what it is. Um, so there's no you know, one-on-one -on -one training anymore. Okay, so let's let's talk about that. That's that's what I think people want to know. So tell me if I'm wrong here. You have group coaching times mm -hmm. in your gym that people who are part of the hybrid program, i.e., pay a monthly fee, can get access to, and they can basically show up when they Correct. want to show up. Is that right? Correct. So how many times do you offer a week? What do you do in those sessions? So. Um there's the so with with the old mem members that i had was um group training so there's three times a week uh in the afternoon um i'm sorry there's 6 a.m monday wednesday friday and uh 4 p.m monday wednesday friday and 5 30 p.m monday wednesday friday 
uh, off of those, people can come in, get their workout. It's a group structured session. And they also have some form of nutrition coaching that's already priced in. So that follows a lower tier, if you will, for, for training, because I program for the group. I don't program for the individual. And then on Tuesdays and Thursdays, there's a semi-private where each individual has their own program where they come in. And this is the second tier that's higher price. Um, and they can come in, uh, use it uh, during that coaching time and also get a, additional support online with nutrition coaching and whatnot. Now, the way that relates to to online, it's the same model. It's just they're not coming in. So, you know, I got folks in California, right. Ohio, wherever it is that they're at, where they're receiving the same either if we did a group launch, it's going off the group programming or if they're doing one on one online, it's going off the semi private hybrid version that's on there. Um, and that's how it works. And so your two tiers is, is effectively individualized programming versus not. And if they have the higher tier with the individualized, then they can come in for those extra group programming. Exactly. Times. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. That's brilliant. And, and I mean, what a great pivot, like what a great model for a gym to grow with. Yeah, I, I mean, I now so. we have, <laughs> Well, now you have now you have more revenue. Like like it's funny because the name of your business is Resilient Fitness, <laughs> yeah. and you prove your resiliency. Yeah. Throughout this period, I mean, how many gyms? You know, I, 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 it, it's kind of funny. You know, tongue in cheek. How many gyms have this like name that has to do with strength and resilience, but but they had this like kind of brittle model and they haven't adapted and haven't showcased resilience when this happened. It's, so anyway, you proved your you proved your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's, it's, it's cool. It's cool to see that this idea of this idea of um, this is our model and now you can grow because I know you and I have had some conversations about basically where do you go from here personally? <clears throat> I mean, you're a busy guy. You got a family. You got two kids. You want to gym with your wife. <laughs> like you got a lot of things going on. Talk about how now because you have this model you can begin to replace yourself. You can begin to remove yourself from a lot of the day-to-day -day stuff that you don't want to be doing. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think having the model just has given me those options, right? Mm -hmm. So this month, June, we've I've been in the process of doing exactly that, replacing myself, bringing in one of my current members uh, who's had experience running medical facilities and stuff like that, and she's doing all the operations. She's doing our standard operating procedures and starting to take me out of the day to day things that are going on, along with some interns that are here um, and also bringing on. Um, I brought on two coaches this month. One is going to get deployed in, in, in the next coming month. So he, he has to leave, unfortunately. But the other one, she's completely on board and she's taking over some classes and um, which has been great because even now, so some like I've been a little under the weather this week, so I'm kind of taking a step back and she's covering, <laughs> she's covering all my afternoons and every, all the workouts are set in place. Everything's yeah. on there. You know, I can still manage uh, using the software, all of our online support. So I, it's been a godsend. I, I you know, I, I think uh, it's been working out in ways that I couldn't even imagine, you know, stuff yeah. that could be even predicted that was going to happen has been, has been well, all. Covered. I can tell you why I think um, there's so many there, there's there's fewer variables to what you do now. It's a much simpler model. Mm -hmm. So many fitness businesses that try to do too much when they start, and 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 perhaps this will force a lot of people to build a, a simpler model. It becomes so complex and so varied that it's very, very difficult then to remove oneself because so much depends on you and you can't operationalize it. Whereas what you've done is you've pivoted to a much simpler model that allowed you to operationalize it much easier. Yeah, I would agree. I mean, that's, that's what it sounds like to me, at least. Um, there's a question here, and, and I apologize. I can't actually see your name because of the software we're using. There's like privacy stuff. So it just says Facebook user. Um, 
and Bobby is still sick, so she's not in here, so she can't read the questions for me. So it, it basically talks about, you know, an OTA one willing to charge every other week versus monthly as it works out to more, more money overall. They offer three levels of service, which he or she considers a package. Um, when you're referring to package, you're speaking of something that's 12 weeks, give or take. And so basically, to, to me, what that question is asking, I'm fuzzy here with my camera. Basically, what to me, what that's asking is, how do I sell? What do I sell? Right. And so the switch to charging every two weeks versus every month is just because every month is 30.42 days. So if you charge every two weeks, basically you're getting paid every 28 days, you're getting 2.42 extra days each month, which means at the end of the year, it actually comes out to a pretty considerable extra amount of money, which is great. Um, what you what we don't teach as much in OTA one, and there's a reason for this, and I'll explain, is we don't teach as much the value and the importance of having a specific end goal and a package to meet that goal. And the reason for that is OTA one is the first step. OTA one is meant to get you a little bit more comfortable with online training because it's very hard to figure out. As, as a lot of people have seen in this group, you look at the comments of this group, it's very hard to figure out exactly who you want to train and how you want to train until you do it. And so we're very careful to not force constraints on you as you're building the right model for you of online training. We're not saying to you, you have to do it this way, you have to work with this person because you simply don't know. And so what we do is we instead teach a model that's the easiest to basically jump into and get a bit of experience. Once you have that experience, now you've got the context. In Online Trainer Academy Level 2, what we do is we take people who have a little bit of experience, have that context, have had a little bit of success already, and we help them blow it up by teaching them the scalable model. And the scalable model is, is largely precedented on saying, who am I working with? What are they trying to achieve? How can I turn that into a package and, and, and build it with a model whereby I can serve them better in less time or remove myself from it, which is kind of what Jesus is doing, right? Either hybrid or in person, we work with, with gyms and with individuals. And then we just teach them the sales and conversions to charge a lot more, basically, uh, for for that because you're offering a much better service. So that's the main difference. Um, if I understand your your question properly, basically, it's not is this better or not. To me, it's kind of a stepwise progression. Um, and I'm very careful with everything that we do, where I teach people basically step one before step four. And I think a big problem in this field is a lot of people start teaching step four before step one, which is why to me, step one is a course and not business coaching and not like intensive business coaching. Like basically what we do in level two is it's a very intense business coaching product. Uh, level one, you're not ready for an intensive business coaching because you haven't experienced it enough because you, you don't know the questions to ask yet. Um, to me, a course is the best way and also the fastest way to gain a wide breadth of knowledge and start something and try something and figure out where you want to fit in and also figure out where your gaps of knowledge are. And then you hire the business coach afterwards to fill in those gaps. Um, and that's basically the, the main difference between level one and level two and why we structured level one and level two very different. Level one, you can take as long as you want going through it. Level two, you got eight weeks. We, we man. <laughs> talk about the pressure we put on you. Let's talk about that. Oh, man. It was, um, it was, it was intense without a doubt. Like it, it was, it was multiple check-ins per week. What's going on? Rate your week. What's going well? What do you need help with? But I think that's that's a, a big um, critical component to, to this course, because if you don't have that, like if I'm not getting th that that notification, like I'm not checking in. Right. That's just <laughs> it goes. But the fact that it's in a group and everyone's posting, I'm like, oh, crap, I got to like fill this out because people are watching. Um, and that's been key because I, I don't want to extend things, especially when it comes to like my business. I want to know, like, if I start now, like what's going to happen at the end of this? And just from right. the initial um, uh, call, you know, from the audition call to be, to be able to like get into the program, it was like, you got eight weeks. Can you deliver in eight weeks? And my question was like, can you guys deliver in eight weeks? So like, yeah, as long as you put in the work. So it's like, all right, let's go. And that was, you know, for me, I think week five or maybe week seven it was when i made up my investment so i was like all right cool it works Let, let's keep going you know let's keep going 
<laughs> well, that's it. I mean, that's 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 the cool part. We say like page one of it's it's not a textbook. We've got three manuals um, that we send where you know. So it's you can see it's not a textbook, but it's basically three printed manuals that we send, and like you've got your manual, you've got your grad materials, and you've got. Um, your workbook here, and um, we say, I think it's page one in the manual, you will get more accomplished in the next eight weeks than you would otherwise get done in two years. And yeah. it will not be easy. We're going to push you far outside your comfort zone, but this is a sprint. And, um, and if you're ready for that, let's do this thing. And it's not going to be comfortable. Uh, and I mean, you see, and you can talk to anybody who we've worked with in this program, like it's not comfortable, um, but that's good. You know, that's, that's what's needed at that stage. I think a lot of fitness professionals get too comfortable once they have even the littlest bit of success. And, um, that can hurt us. Cool. Well, I mean, last thing I'll ask you. We got a lot of great information here is is what you know if somebody was interested in, in i guess moving on from like level one to level two of the online train academy or even if they didn't do level one but like they think that they were ready for level two because they have a pretty good base um what would you say to them you know the, if you're interested it's a no-brainer you got to do it if there's one thing that the pandemic has taught us is like businesses need to have robustness and and here's a step-by-step -step course that's going to teach you how to build that into your business, particularly any kind of online coaching that you're doing, um, whether it's personal training, nutrition coaching, or a hybrid model. Um, mm -hmm. It's you have to like it, it's, uh, it's something that it, you're investing not only for yourself, but your, your business in order for it to succeed, because we don't really know what's going to happen and how how the way things are shaping out is you need to be able to create the community for people online you need to be able to, to communicate with them online you need to be able to deliver the the health and fitness uh goals that they're looking for and so these are the tools and and the strategies that are going to help you do that um not only that but there's also the business side that's going to teach you how to build your life and, and and make a living to doing that so right. um for sure cool well Guys, if you're looking to scale up the online training business beyond what you've learned here, um, like Jesus, like, like everybody else we've spoken about, uh, go to the pgc.com slash OTA2, fill out the application. Uh, once you do, you can book in your first call. Like I said, we vet, like I've said a bunch of times, we vet people really, really strongly for this. If you're not right for OTA2 yet, or you're not ready for it yet, we will tell you. You know, we don't want to work with you if, if, if we don't think that you can crush it. So uh, go to pgc.com, the ptdc.com slash OTA2 fill out the application and uh, yeah, we'll chat with you soon. Thank you so much, Jesus, man. This is great. Uh, thank you. See you guys.